Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I am super excited that you're on the channel today and you're here to see this video about learning how to do uh, the reversing of a receiving voucher. Uh, it's a lot like deleting a receiving voucher, but in point of sale, things don't just work that way. You have to reverse things. We can talk more about that, but let's get into the video. I'd rather just teach you how to do it and why you're gonna do it. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, join up there and ask questions about errors, workflows, training, anything you really want to know. Maybe request a video for this channel. And since we're talking about the channel, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube below so you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos from BlackRock Business. Let's do this. Okay. It's been a couple days since you received anything and you're starting to notice that something is not quite right with your inventory. You look into an item history and you notice that uh, for some reason it was received wrong. The Maybe an incorrect number was received or something went wrong or what have you. You bring up the receiving history and you look at that voucher. Let's see here. What do we got? We got this one. I'm looking at details. Okay, I'm looking here. Oh my gosh, somebody totally screwed this up. Why did they do it this way? This is a terrible voucher. We do not want this in our system. So you got to go back and you got to check out and make sure you know what actually happened that day. But what you're really going to need to do here is reverse this voucher. Well, why can't you just delete the voucher? Here we are in the accounting world and you can't just go around deleting things because that's called cooking your books. Don't do that. It's illegal. All right, so we need to reverse it. And uh, conceptually, what reversing a voucher is, is doing the exact opposite of what you did when you received it in the first place. When you received it in the first place, it put quantities into your inventory. And so when you reverse it, it just creates a new document that takes those quantities out of your inventory uh, without counting it as a sale, I guess I'd say because you're not receiving any uh, payment for it or anything. So we are going to reverse this. I also want you to stay tuned on the channel. We're gonna uh, discuss a method later in a different video about how you would reverse and redo an entire voucher or just kind of uh, do it the fastest way without having to redo everything. There's a quick, easy trick to it and we're gonna cover that on a different video. So for right now, we don't like this voucher. We want it out. We want to redo it immediately, so we're going to get rid of it. We have it highlighted right here, and I am going to choose Reverse, which is right down here. Hit the Reverse button, saying this, reversing this document will generate a vendor credit in your QuickBooks. That is fine, because that vendor credit is going to cancel out your original open invoice with that vendor that was created when you first created this receiving voucher. So just take the credit make it cancel out the due balance, and then we'll start over again, right? Get it? All right, so here you can see reversing return. Everything else was a regular receiving voucher, except now this top one says reversed. So this was a regular receiving voucher. Now it has been reversed. We can see a stamp on it down here, letting us know, hey, this was reversed. And then we have a brand new document today that says reversing return. And there you have it. You can see that this is a reversing return voucher and that actually would remove those products back out of your inventory. You're ready to start over again. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming on this little video here. I hope you have a stupendous day. <laughs>